You will sometimes come across situations where a factor that you want to analyse can't be changed as easily as your other factors. For example, you might only be able to sow your plant varieties over a large area, but can spread fertiliser in different amounts over smaller plots. The solution proposed by split plot design is to sow the different plant varieties in the large areas, then split these large areas into smaller plots and apply different amounts of fertiliser to these smaller plots. In the split plot design shown here, the treatments are three varieties of oats, Victory, Golden Rain and Marvelous, and four levels of nitrogen, 0, 0 0.2, 0.4 and 0.600 weight. As it is easier to work with smaller plots for fertilizer than for varieties, the six blocks were initially split into three whole plots, and then each whole plot was split into four subplots. The varieties were randomly allocated to the whole plots within each block and the nitrogen levels were randomly allocated to the subplots within each whole plot. A standard analysis of these data recognises the two basic elements inherent in the experiment. One is the stratification of the experimental unit into blocks, whole plots and subplots, and two is the treatment structure that is superimposed on the experimental units. The aim of the analysis is to examine the importance of the treatment effects while accounting for the stratification and restricted randomization of the treatments to the experimental units. Before we run the analysis, let's copy the necessary files from ASREML's Examples folder into another location, as the Examples folder is usually write protected. Navigate to the default file location. This will be C, Program Files, ASREML, Examples, Functional. Now copy the files oats.asd and oats.as. Paste these files into a new folder. I've already got one set up on my desktop called ASREML Projects. In the Context File Explorer, I'll navigate to the ASREML Projects folder on my desktop. Double-click the file oats.as. This loads the file into the output. To open the dataset for this experiment, select File, New Project. Select the second option to create a project based on an existing program file, then click Next. Navigate to your new folder where you saved the files. Now double-click the file oats.as to open it. Keep the default settings and click Finish to create the oats project. The files load into the project viewer and the oats.as file is displayed in the output. The data fields are blocks, W plots, subplots, variety, nitrogen, and yield. The first five variables are factors that describe the stratification and treatments. The sixth variable, yield, is the response period of the experiment. The standard split plot analysis is achieved by fitting the model terms blocks and whole plots within blocks as random effects. We do not need to list the blocks, W plots, subplots term in the model because this term corresponds to the residual term, which is automatically included in the model. The fixed effects include the main effects of both variety and nitrogen and their interaction. 
The tables of predicted means for nitrogen, variety and variety by nitrogen have been requested. Note, the qualifier on the third predict statement means that a matrix of standard errors of the differences will be printed for the variety by nitrogen table. From the menu, select Run, Run. Or, if you are using Context, press the F9 key to run the ASREML program. Click OK to see the output. Some new files have been added to the list in the project viewer. The report file, oats.asr, contains an overall summary of the analysis that is just run. When an analysis is run, the file display will automatically switch to the ASR report file. The oats.sln file contains estimates of the fixed and random effects with their standard errors. The oats.yht file contains the predicted values of the response variate, the residuals and diagonal elements of hat matrix. File oats.pvs contains the tables of the predicted means we requested. Let's have a look at the key output in the report file, oats.asr. The first section of output provides information on the version of ASREML used, the date and time that the job was run, and the license. Next, a summary of the data is provided. And the iteration sequence of REML log likelihood values. A summary of the estimated variance parameters is then given. The stratum variances for each random term can be found in the variance column and its variance component in the sigma column. Next is a table of walled F statistics for the fixed effects. The table contains the numerator degrees of freedom, the denominator degrees of freedom, the incremental walled F statistics, and the probability value. ASREML always reports incremental walled F statistics for the fixed model terms, meaning they are conditional on the order the terms were nominated in the model. For example, the test for nitrogen represents the effect of adding nitrogen to the fixed model containing both mu and variety. Tables of predicted means and the corresponding standard errors for nitrogen, variety and variety by nitrogen are in oats.pvs. As requested, a matrix of SEDs for the variety by nitrogen table is also printed.